In this video, we will cover a few of the basic tools Kinovia has to offer, including the line and circle tools and object tracking to perform a simple analysis. First, select the line tool. Left click where you would like the line to start, then release the mouse button where you would like the line to end. If this is your calibration measure, right click and select calibrate measure and enter the value into the field. If this measurement is not part of your analysis, you can drag it anywhere on the screen that is out of the way. Now that we have our calibration measure, we can begin the analysis by marking the starting position of the arm with line segments. If you do not want measurements included for every segment, right click and select display measure to toggle it off. We can now finish our drawing and use a circle to mark the starting location of the elbow. Options such as color and line thickness can be edited by right clicking and selecting color and size from the menu. Now that the initial position of the arm is indicated by our line segments, we can set up object tracking on the weight to follow its path throughout the bicep curl. Select the cross marker tool and then left click the location you would like to track. Once the marker is placed, right click and select track path. Right click again to set the label name and whether to track for speed or distance. Color can also be changed from this menu. Press play and let the curl complete. Pause the video at the apex of the weight. Notice that the elbow is no longer in the starting position. We can now mark the end location of the curl with line segments. With both the starting and end locations marked, draw a line from the center of the starting position of the elbow to the center of the end position of the elbow. Right click the line and change the color to distinguish it from the lines used to represent arm segments. Now we can set the line to display a measure. This measure indicates the change in position of the elbow. The same method can be used to determine the vertical translation of the wrist, or if desired, the weight. These measures can be dragged to any location on the screen. The advantage to having the vertical displacement is that we can use that measure to calculate the amount of work performed, or the power output of the bicep curl, since we can obtain the time information from the video. After letting the video play for a few more curls, restart it from the beginning to apply the speed calculation from the object tracking. The speed will now display beside the tracking path of the weight. 
To slow the video down, simply lower the playback speed. The video can be stopped at any time to clearly display the speed of the object you are tracking. Watch part 2 of KinoVIA Basic Tools to learn how to use chronometers, measure angles, and work with high-speed video footage.